How do you write the equations for electron affinity? Electron affinity is defined as the energy released when you add an electron. You add one electron to a particle in the gas phase. The gas phase portion of that is important for the states. Let's start with something like calcium. Ca is one atom of calcium, and in the gas phase, you could, in theory, add an electron. I'm going to show the electron as a reactant. What happens when you add an electron to calcium? Well, that Ca ends up with a minus one charge. And I know that that's awkward. Metals aren't supposed to have minus charges, but we can force these things to happen and sometimes they'll even happen spontaneously if you have electrons flying all over the place. Now, electron affinity is generally energy released, and so you can get away with writing plus energy here, which implies that energy is a product of this reaction. This is the chemical equation for the first electron affinity. Some teachers will call it Ea and put a little one down there. Get it? First electron affinity. Now there is a second electron affinity where you start with the product of your first. The second electron affinity has you starting with Ca minus. And guess what? You add another electron. What's the new charge? It's minus two. You are continually adding electrons and notching your charge down, like deeper into the negatives. You can still write plus energy, although that's a bold move. You don't really know at this point if this requires or uh, consumes energy. That's much more complicated. You need to know stuff about electron configurations to predict it. Lastly, I'm going to continue. There is a third electron affinity, etc., etc., but the third starts with the product of the second. Ca minus 2 in the gas phase, you could theoretically add another electron, a third electron, and get Ca with a minus 3 charge. I like it. I like it. Just for completeness here, I'm going to write plus energy. Done. Electron affinity is the process of adding electrons to particles. Doesn't matter if they're metals, non-metals, metalloids, noble gases. Doesn't matter. Add an electron, give it a negative charge. Add another electron, give it a minus two charge, etc., etc., etc. Thanks for being with me, and best of luck.